All right. Looks as though YouTube is at least kind of working. Welcome to this at least very special banter kind of working. Uh, it's not really welcome, special, but let's to hype it. this at I'm least here. very special. The candidates is over, sad face. And uh, we're going to try and beat some noobs, basically. That's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and beat some noobs. Now, my original idea was to go knight d5. And then he's just going to go king f7, knight d1. Knight d5. Wolverine is in chat. We've got Oris Vovk in chat. We've got a bunch of what can only be called very sad humans lurking in the chat. Welcome to all you very sad people. It's lovely to have you here. So we're going night before. The position, I guess, is a roundabout level. I don't know. I've got a bit of initiative. Um, so we'll see. So now my idea was to go here. Weird position. I'm not really threatening to take on a6. I might be threatening to take on c6. The bishop actually does a good job of not allowing a rook to come to d8. So with the time advantage, meh. I guess I'm favorite. Let's do a little challenge. I'm 2836. Hopefully I'll get to 2900 in the next couple of hours. That would be nice. So we come in check. Now, feels as though I've got some initiative here. I can win a pawn, for example, with that move. How bad can it be? Look at this bishop, my favorite. Square for a bishop on a5. Five minute games, Kramnik student. Lawrence, I dare you to say my nickname. Is that right? All right. Um, I guess we'll just go back here because, again, the rook can't be challenged so easily. So we've won a pawn. We've won a Pieska, as they say in Moscow. Oh, it's my good buddy, Atlanta Gambit. How are you, sir? How's lockdown? Get, get in touch. Send me an email so we can, we can hook up. All right, we're going to go F3, just protect a little pawn. We're going to make him sweat a bit in this position. That's what we're going to do. Lawrence, how did you feel about the bullying from the other guys during the broadcast? You mean the world champion making fun of me? Felt good. Imagine being important enough for the world champion to actually spend time mocking you for your chess ability. Isn't it fantastic? I think it kind of is. I'm definitely up for some bantering. That's why I'm here. So, I guess we should play this move, just to see if he wants to go b4, after which I'll take. I always have a square on d8 for the bishop. It's not amazing or anything. Now maybe we can come and go rook d8, rook a8. He's going to have some difficulties defending the pawn. Yeah, exactly. Imagine, like... Pretty much all of you guys in chat aren't actually worth his time. I mean, he wouldn't even exhaust a, a single breath on trying to make fun of your chest because, let's face it, you're all patsers. But I am at that level, as Dodgy says, where I'm just uh, good enough and well-known enough whereby him making fun of me has some value. Thank you very much. William Zidistis, who have we got next? Uh, we said we would play Kramnik student. Remember, premium members only. Premium members only. 
Crookie says you're a patzer at life. Am I? Am I though? Many would beg to differ. I'm a patzer in many things though. Ooh, Bishop G5, that's unusual. That's very unusual. I guess we'll go Bishop B4, right? Takes, takes. Am I going to get challenge accepted today? I recall we had some beef last week, Mr. Chet. Yeah, I'll give you a game. Cthulhu, whatever your damn name is. I'll give you a game. You deserve it. Um, so what do we do here? E5 is kind of standard, I guess. Castles, castles. Refraining from this. I guess we'll come back now to E7 and play D5 and play a bit like Jan Gustafsson or what? We have the center. What more could we want? Uh, I guess we'll just take it, right? And develop a little rook. Okay, so we'll kick this bishop, see where it wants to go. If it goes to h3, it's kind of offside. If it goes to d3, I can gain another tempo with e4. I'm not sure I really want to do that yet. But I guess I can. Although, what are, what other ideas are there here? Okay. So another idea is just to play like a move like this. And just play some chess. This looks fairly standard. Lawrence, how many norms do you have? I have two. Two norms. And a hundred rating point deficit and another norm. Long way to go. A4 makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna just start operations and try to get some kind of initiative. But my position is a little bit loose. It's a little bit loose. So I'm not overly confident here. Although that move might let me... Can we try this now? After queen d2? Imagine society if Lawrence becomes a GM. Well, exactly. We will all be loving it. I just hope I can change my Twitter name. That's the most important thing. Okay, and now, so 95, bishop e2. Ah, we're just going to do it anyway. And the question is, do we go d4? I guess we just roll, roll with the punches here. Just go. Just go. Lawrence, please don't come a GM. You're more human like this. There are some fairly inhumane grandmasters as well, let's be honest. So the question is, can I not go d3 here? Uh, it's close. It's gonna go queen e3. All right, I tell, I tell you what, I'm gonna, um, gonna go here. Am I missing the footy? Not really, I've kind of gone off football quite substantially uh, past year. I'm big into my um, American football, though. I love the American football. Can't wait for the season to start. Hopefully it starts on time. Rook C1. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Mm, I guess... This is looks loose, but I just want to like be able to meet Queen F4 with another move. Lawrence is loose, too late, too too uh, too talentless to become a grandmaster. I think is the right term. Okay, so Queen F4. So this rook isn't really doing much, right? So what if we just slide him over to C8 somewhere useful? H3 wants to go H4, H5 potentially, but don't see that being a huge deal. I wonder if we can actually threaten D3 at some point. I guess we could play a move like this. K4. 
Okay. Guess I'm going to double on the default now. We'll just slither over here. Okay. I see what he wants to do. He wants to go King G2, but does he really make it work? You know what? Let's give him the action he so desires. G5. Queen D2. Okay, Knight F3. Queen E2. Queen B4. That one I didn't consider, although perhaps I should have. Hmm. Kind of tricky, this position has to be said. Um, ugh. Yeah, I'm not loving this at all. This is a stupid move, of course. I did have an idea. Hopefully it will be re revealed soon. I've also got very little time. And here's my stupid idea. Let's put the queen on the long diagonal. And hopefully cause some issues. So he decides he wants to take it, but now surely I can just take and danger is certainly over. Probably I'm gonna exchange one pair of rooks, right? Or do I need to do that? Maybe we, yeah. Let's exchange one pair of rooks here. Wants to go this way, makes sense. And still a very, unclear position here. Uh, maybe I can win a pawn. Can I do this? 54 seconds. That was probably his first serious blunder, what he just did, because now I'm kind of in. And... Uh, now we can do this. Yeah, now it's just all over. Mm, check. And I don't know, has to be bad. Something like this. It's probably good enough. Takes, takes. Um, now we better just catch that pawn. And now the point is I get in e3. It's quite important. And some move. And we got him. But you know what? It was a darn good game from Kramnik Student. Well done. Very, very good. Um, thanks for the game. That was, at some moment, I have to say, I was concerned that I was going to lose. I was concerned. All right, who we got next? Mm. Who we got? See, we got this German guy, Raffaello. Should we play a really strong dude? I'll tell you what, we're going to play a really strong dude, and then we're going to play some of your other. So this is the guy who played Jan earlier and didn't want to draw and should have made a draw, and he didn't do it. So we're going to get this guy out of book and see how good he is. Makan. My, I, my gut is that when he's a bit out of book, you know, we got good chances, basically. You know, we just get a position again. This is how you got to play against these guys. Get a position against them. This is how you got to play. You know, look at this. This is a dream. You think Anish Giri wouldn't? He'd pay a thousand bucks a day to get a position like this in the candidates. Okay. He gets a, a B5 in. That's fine. Okay. And what if we just take and go like rookie one? 
not worrying about it a darn thing here not showing not worrying about a darn thing up in here pawn holder with the praise for kramnik student indeed you played very well way above your level okay and now we're just going to come here and we're going to do a geary okay so knight b6, so c3 looks very tempting. And I guess lots of options. I guess we just play the most natural take with the knight. F6, wow. He really doesn't want to get that sort of stuff. Okay. Um, hmm. How stupid is this move here? Unclear. Might be completely stupid. But I, do, I am angling for a B4. I am angling for a B4. That's kind of what I want. Because if I get access to the d4 square for my knight, I think long term after he's played f6, he's going to have some problems. c4, we're not worried about, of course. And if we get to play bc5, we're really laughing. So... Looks pretty decent. Has to be said, it looks pretty decent for white, this position. Okay, so it takes, takes. And we're also up a minute on the clock, which is very exciting. I'm very excited. Wow. Look at this. What is this? Okay, just carry on improving. Okay, knight b5, wow, I mean, the guy loves, he, he's a masochist, okay, this is a move that uh, the class players see, you see that move there, all you chat noobs, once you can play moves like that, then we can start talking, okay. Now we take, yeah, but uh, f6, oh, it doesn't win. Mm, yeah, it does. Ah, <sighs> sometimes I just surprise myself. I really do. I really do. Wow, look at this guy. Look at this guy go. He wants to swindle me, huh? Okay, so what's going on if I just move a rook here? Okay, and back. Everything's protected, no? How about that? This one for the fans. How about that one for the fans, boys? I think they. I think the fans enjoyed that one. And now we can relax. We can do anything we want. Anything in the world. Not falling for that one today, sir. Take some more pawns. La di da di da. Um, we'll give a check. We'll um, do this. And we'll give a check here. La di da di da. La di da di da. La di da di da. That was an absolute battering, wasn't it? Look at this. Look, play chess against the dudes. Raffaello, just play chess against him. Look at this. 
Look at this. Look at this. GG. Thanks, Makan. All right. Who we got next? Who we got? So many challenges. All right. We're going to go with this dude. Nautilus. All right. We're going to give him a bit of Knight of Three action for the Nautilus. And we're gonna we're gonna play like Naka. This is what Naka does. All right, this is what Naka does. I don't understand any of it, but if Naka does it, it's good enough for me. Okay, a six, c five. Okay, we'll just play like this, and we'll take. So the question is, is b5 ever a threat? I don't feel like it is, really. Okay, we'll attack an e-pawn. Use the semi-open file. And here... Yeah, we'll just play a move. Ah, he did go e5. Wow. Wow, wow, we wow. Okay. Um, hmm. Wow, wow, we wow. Okay, we'll take it. And I guess we'll play a sensible move here, like that. And the problem he's got is it's a bit difficult for him to. Okay. Is this where. We just don't worry about that. I guess we don't worry about it. And 94, now we're coming into D6. Teo Ravi says, Lawrence, what's your daily schedule and what you do, in, what you do after going home? You mean now or in general? Because they're two different things. Um, the question is, I mean, let's just play professional chess. How do we play professionally here? Is this a professional move? Is this a sort of move that maybe Levon would be proud of. Okay, because now we can go knight d6 and win the bishop. That's kind of critical. Yeah, now we're very happy because we take, and now we can play, for example, g3, and put the bishop on g2. And now we're very excited about life. Uh, the question is, is he ever threatening e4? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. So, mm, I mean, this is the move Guirinho would play, no? Probably not, because it's a really bad move. What the hell it was that? The queen d5, knight f6 is kind of a bit stupid, yeah? That was really stupid, that move. Okay. That was really dumb. That was like A-class level stupid. Yeah, now I'm kind of slightly concerned that um, unless just missing jumps as well. Oh my God. Okay, now I'm really concerned. Now we're just in bad shape, like really bad shape. Okay, now I'm gonna need to swindle the guy, which I apologize in advance is gonna happen. I don't know how, but I'm, I'm gonna have to think. Okay, and can we not do this? I think we got lucky there. Oh, we got re I mean, sorry, we got stupidly lucky here. Stupidly lucky, yeah, I mean, we would toast. Oh, wow. Close. 
I'm living on the edge. All right, who we got next? Um, who have we got next? We're going to give uh, Monkey Play a go. Monkey Play. Monkey Play. So, all right, let's see. All right, let's see what's going on here. You gotta give him some Sicilian action. Same opening. Okay. They love this stuff. It's probably English. Where's he from? We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, this is good. And after castles, we can go d5. This is the point. And after E, D, E, D, Bishop A2. So there are lots of moves after Bishop A2. Ah, this, wait, this works now? I thought this didn't work now because of the inclusion of A6. Am I just, am I just going to lose? No, the point is I have this, no? Wait. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I have knight f4 now, right? Because there's no queen b5 check. Or is it knight c7? No, knight c no, it's knight f4. This must this must be the reason. Yeah, because without the inclusion of a6, a4, queen b5 check exists. That's the point. That's why you can't do this, I don't think. You can play rook takes e6, and exchange sacrifice probably is not enough. <laughs> okay, yeah, he did do that. Okay, now some queen f6 looks sensible. And we have one a whole exchange, right? He's got a pawn for it. He's got a pawn for it. Maybe it's okay for white if he manages to stabilize. I don't know. I'm very tempted to play d3 here. You know what? We're going to do it just to illustrate the idea that we want to not, not allow him to play d3 and get his pieces out. Ah, queen e7 with the back rank. Ah, he could have gone bishop c4. I mean, it's never a back rank. I mean, he's never totally losing. Yeah, queen e7 was probably better. At least test him. Yeah, because bishop c4, rook c8 was actually... Well, this one is just not going to be sufficient, I don't think. Because now it's an exchange. And yeah, just to illustrate, I can even play like this. I don't have to protect this pawn. I'm going to put the bishop on d4 after c takes d3. And that bishop's going to be a monster. Yeah, that bishop on c1 is very, very sad. Okay, so he'd rather let me have the pawn to be able to get his bishop out, but it's not really going to change the assessment. Yeah, I'm going to just line up the boys here as well. After bishop takes c2, I can take on f2, of course, but really, I guess I can just about do anything here. Position is, is uh, very bad. So b3... Guess we'll just castle. Rook a2, we'll go rook fd8. Bishop e4. Can do anything, I guess I'll just go b6. I'm letting him win this pawn back if he wants. Yeah, and now I've got a really neat trick. You ready for this one, chat? Bishop takes f2, king takes f2, takes, takes, and rook c8. This is why doing your tactics is so important, boys and girls. And look at those bishops. Lined up beautifully. Oof, nearly mouse slipped. Yeah, he does win a pawn, but my guess is that it's just nowhere near enough, right? We're gonna bring the king in. What's the score? Two, four, five, four. 
Let's go to pawn, but yeah, I'm just going to bring the king in. He can't move the B pawn for the moment. And when he decides to move the king, the problem is H2 falls. So yeah, so he's going that way. We'll go F5, king F4, king F6, of course. And now, again, he's still completely tied, tied up. And um, we can even, uh, you know what? The professional move is just to go G6 here and ask him to make a move. Okay, H6. If he goes B4, we go rook B1, forcing him to put the pawn on B5. So now, hmm. Maybe we should just attack a pawn, ask him to make a move. Yeah, because now when he does that, uh, yeah, I guess we should just go for this. I mean, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe it's a little bit loose, but after b4, maybe we're just going back. Uh, he wants to just rush in. Okay, I think he's probably too slow. I think it's a decent idea, though. Uh Yeah, this seems to be the easiest way to convert. Just doing some minor calculations. And very importantly, I get to play queen takes f3. And we win. But a decent game. Uh, monkey, uh, monkey play, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Who is next? What's chat saying? In his 20s, I spent most of my time studying tactics. No, I sp spent most of my time drinking and watching football in my 20s. I'll have you know. That's what I was doing in my 20s. Believe me. I was not studying tactics. Uh, who do we want to play now? There are tons of challenges. Let's try Matt Buckley. Matt Buckley. So not much has changed. I don't drink anymore. Barely. Barely drink anymore. Okay, we're going to play a, uh, a Birds. Yeah, the the uh, the drinking destroyed my brain, for sure. How was your experience in India in 2013? It was wonderful, my experience in India in 2013. It was fantastic. You know what we're going to do? We're going to really upset him. I'm going to play this move. Just to stop him from going h4, we're going to put the knight there. Um, it was an experience to be there. Obviously, commentating on the World Championships is... Quite an honor. And uh, obviously, the occasion uh, was very special with Vichy. I mean, it was nuts, basically. It was completely insane. And that, the amount of media coverage, the people there, it was madness. Knight h4 is a move that none of you noobs understand. So, fun beat and so on. Remember, you're just chat pros. You read the engine lines. We played the proper moves, okay? Knight h4 is a classy move. Look, I can now play this. Look at this. They don't teach this stuff in Dvoretsky. They don't teach this stuff in uh, my system. You understand? Much appreciated, Kramnik student. I, I do appreciate it. Can IMs get conditions in international tournaments, hotels? Very few, if any, nowadays. Back in like 10, 15 years ago when I was nearly 2,500 and an IM, yeah, yeah, we got some stuff, but not nowadays, not really. Queen E8, protecting the pawn. Feels a little bit weird though, no? 
So how do we proceed now? I guess we'll play this move. Maybe just T T's knight b5. Okay. So he dealt with that. And now we'll, I guess we'll come back here. Hey, Lawrence, can you explain your beef with Nepo? Uh, I mean, it's quite simple. Basically, uh, we played some Blitz games and uh, there was a lot of banter. I, I beat him a few times in front of his buddies in from the Russian Federation. I think it was a bit embarrassing because he's supposed to be 2,900 or so. And I think the banter was within reason, but uh, he didn't feel so. Couldn't, 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 couldn't take it. Gave a lot, but couldn't take it. And then, uh, yeah, just, I basically said, well, we can either resolve this the old school way or we can just put it behind us. But he didn't seem in the mood to to want to just forget about it so since then we haven't spoken so it's about four years now knight into d5 takes takes now i'm getting excited bishop's on a lovely diagonal now What team do I support? Uh, football team, I support Chelsea. Um, now, can we go knight takes g6? Yes, we can, right? Again, know your tactics. Can't take it back because of the pin. Um, and I am a big uh, Bills fan in the in, in uh, American football. I guess the professional move is just to take here and follow it up with this next move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went outside and I said I'd let him have the first swing, but he didn't swing at me. So I even gave him first swing, which I thought was very nice. Now the queen joins the action. And uh, looks like we're okay. We can just take back. We don't have to do anything major here. So if we take, take, e5, take, queen, g6, king, h8, queen, h6, king, g8, f6, queen, g3. We're making this unnecessarily complicated, aren't we? We can just take and go rook f4. And we can take here. And this is probably the simplest way just to ensure victory. If he takes, check, we win the queen, and then decides to take, doesn't change anything. Um, we'll try this cheeky check. Cheeky little check of queen g7, which is going to take on f5. Check king h1. All right, Matt, thank you very much for the game. Much appreciated. GG. Um, should we play any GMs who want to go dodgy? Oh, we've got to play dodgy. Come on. we got to play dodgy. 2570. Are you having a laugh? Talk about inflation. All right. Let's play dodgy.
I mean, Doji is just... Doji is Doji. We're going to play the Jabava against him. <sighs> We're just going to Jabava the, the guy. Jabava the guy. And he decides to go G6, E3, and now H4. This is Zave. Knight F3. C5 here? Really? Can I not just take it? I'm just going to take Dodgy's pawns. Okay. And you know what? We'll try this. We'll try this move against the Dodgy and check. And he just wants to. Okay. So what we've achieved is... We've achieved, obviously, his king being misplaced. Now, he will get the two bishops in return. And if I'm not careful, I can be worse. I've got to be a little bit kind of, as we say in the business, precise. Um, all right, let's castle. He's going to go a6. I assume. You know, these positions can get out of control for white. You know, it's going to take on c5. And now we need a decent-ish move. I'm going to play this, which may not be the aforesaid decent-ish move, but we're going to play it anyway. Play GM Pornholder. I will play GM Pornholder. As soon as I've dealt with Dodgy, I'm going to play GM Pornholder. So the dodgy is thinking, okay, bishop d7. We're going to go bishop f3. I guess he wants to go bishop c6. I guess that was the reason behind bishop d7, or just to get the bishop off the back. Yeah. Not easy at all to, to do something here. Queen d3. Try and bring a rook to d1, maybe. e5, falling straight for what I had in mind. But the problem I've got is I'm going to play a beautiful move just to demonstrate it to you guys. It's just not that great. But it's okay. Okay, this is the move I had in mind. Bang! How about that? How about them apples, dodgy? Problem is it's not very good and could all end in tears basically. But I just wanted to show you guys it just for, you know, educational purposes basically. And just to, you know, put Dodgy on the spot is always a good thing. I'm definitely not better after this, but, uh, you know. Okay, he goes bishop e8. I thought this one was actually the worst of the options. I thought queen e7 was good there. And if queen f5, bishop d7, and I'd, I'd have to give up a piece for three pawns. But now, if he goes bishop d7, I'm going to take on e5. Now we're rocking and rolling. Now we're groovy. We're grooving to the music. Oh, Dodgy, you do, you do like to please me, don't you? How about knight c takes e4? Just to illustrate the hopelessness of this guy. Oh, look at these tactics. If knight takes e4, I had knight e6 check winning the queen, and the, the other way the, the guy was pinned. Now we can just take. Oh, and now we can just take three pawns, guys. Three pawns to the good. Even Dodgy is not going to be able to save this one. 
one would feel. Oh, rookie eight. Does he want to give me this one as well? Sure, why not? Take them all. <laughs> Take them all. <laughs> wow. Have you seen a position like this in all your days? Rook h7, okay. We'll just come back because the bishop's pinned. Everything's pinned. And now we're just going to, as we say in the business, consolidate the advantage with a simple move. Maybe rook to d1. Everybody's happy. Everyone's a winner in Banter Blitz. Queen e5, going for the queen trade. Very wise decision. Increasing his chances of making a draw by, I would say, in the region of 0%. But then again, what do I know about maths? Right? That's right, Dodgy. That's right, son. Yeah, you attack that rook. You enjoy it. You enjoy it while you can. Look at this. The harmony. This, like, if you had to say something about my position, if you had to compare it to a song, it'd be something like an Enya song, you know? You, you guys know Enya? The artist Enya? This is what it feels like. If you had to do some, you know. Oh, we got a rook to the seventh. What do I do? Do I win another pawn? Should we just take all of his pawns? Okay. What he won one back? What does he want? A medal? All right. Uh, I feel like I want to. Should we be a bit faster here? Jeez. He's actually playing on. I think the thing that threw me most is that he's playing on. All right. It's time to just start getting some pieces off. This is getting ridiculous. Finally, he drops a piece on top of all the pawns he lost. Thank you, Mr. Dodgy. It was a valiant attempt apart from the moment when it wasn't anymore. Lawrence winning a game of chess. What have I just tuned into? Shelling forward, how dare you? Would I be willing to make amends with Nepo? Sure. If he wants to reach out and say, let's forget what happened a few years ago, I'll say, sure, let's just move on. He's the one holding the grudge, not me. It's completely up to him. All right, where's the GM? Is he around? I want a GM scalp. Here we go. Pawn holder. Should we give him what he wants, Mr. Pawn holder? Huh? Any other GMs around? Where's Magnus? All right. We'll give him some action, pawn holder. We'll give him some action. We'll go for the old school line. This is completely fine. He's probably out of book here. Pawn holder is tricky. D4? Okay, yeah. Kind of recall this. And if G4, he's going to go knight G5? D5! Wow. That doesn't look right. Uh, okay, I guess we have to take. And... What on earth is going on here? Okay. I mean, 
This is the professional mode, of course. Develop with check. Okay. Should we just go 97 for the lols? Nah. Take a pawn. This doesn't look that great for black, though, I have to say. I'm curious, actually, as to what <clears throat> the correct way to do it is. Okay, so queen h5. So... I guess we just go knight e7. Oh, he's got e6. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck my life. <laughs> All right. We're going to need some real help here. We're gonna need some real damn help. We're gonna need a miracle. In fact, I don't even know if miracles exist in this position. God damn it. Yeah, I did. I didn't see e6, obviously. It is the hoodie. I'm overheating in this thing. What's he thinking about? Wow, what a sick human. That's what he's thinking about, that this capture is actually better. Bravo. He's, pro he's probably right as well. That this is much better. He's a tricky dude. Jan was right. Okay. Yeah. Feels like I want to resign here, I have to say. Um, but we won't for the fans, just to keep them keep them happy. All right, you know what? We'll keep this guy. Maybe long term we can find something here. Or short term, I should say. So we're we gonna take on C I guess we just take with the take with the rook. B3, and this? B3 looks completely unnecessary. What? Ah, oh, he's got, obviously he's not blundering everything, but he kind of is, okay, let's just do this move for a start. Cause King G2, King E2, like, what is he doing? I think he's making his his task a little bit more difficult, no? King e2, am I just going rook f8 like a boss? And rook f1, yeah? Rook f8, rook f1, knight f4. Am I surviving? Has he bungled this? Has he been... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Well, I mean, this is ridiculous. So annoying. All right. Um, I don't really see. I can give a check on d6, actually. King h, does that make a difference? Six, queen g5, king. queen d6, king h3, f5, bishop f5. Ah. Ah, I'm just going to play this move. He just doesn't care, you know? Okay, check. Just unbelievable. Mm. 
All right, I mean, I have six queen h4. What the hell is this stuff? C nine f six, good five. P three, there's nothing, yeah. G three. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Is king e7 just the most ridiculous suggestion in the world? Kind of is, yeah, rook d7. Okay. Um, need to make a decision. They're all losing, so it doesn't matter. I have no... No ideas here, yeah. Kind of tilt, tilting me. I don't want to play this move because I just have no time left. Also, it's just a terrible, it's just a terrible move for a gazillion reasons, but I just had no time and I just didn't know what the right thing to do was given the time situation. Uh, good enough yeah well played what to do that's it I don't know one last check all she wrote just over bishop e6 gg what can you do when you when you lose a piece that early the your back is against the wall well done pawn holder my first game against him and i blunder a piece on move two no bueno over to MK one six one two five seven. Rematch maybe at the end. We got another hour. Wasn't there knight f six, queen h four? Thought that was your idea. Yeah, knight f six, queen h four. Oh no, my bishop. Damn, he saw it. He saw it, damn. Okay, h4. I guess rook g8 is the move, right? That's what they would normally play. Yeah. Now the Anish Giri School of Chess, h5. Just, you know. Securing some squares. Am I now on tilt? No, I'm not on tilt. I'm nowhere near tilt. I'm nowhere near tilt. Knight d2. And knight e2. MK161257. I'm going to put the bishop on h4, the knight on f4. Life is good. What do I think of Nepo's hairdo? I think it suits him. Okay. So, I guess I can go here straight away. I don't have to do anything else.
Hmm. Castles. Okay, so now we have a choice. We can hop in immediately. I mean, hopping in feels very natural. Bishop F4, maybe? Is he going to go King G7 or something? And then... What are we going to do here? Mm. We're going to play a move that I don't recommend at home. We're going to play this move. You have to admit this is pretty good by black. Might be. The move I just played was horrific. But I'm aware it's horrific. That's the difference. Like, if Dodgy played it, he wouldn't know that it's a bad move. Okay, 94. Stopping all my stuff. You know what? Oh, no, there's no check. We'll go F3. Mm. Okay. We'll go F3, hoping that he misses that I control the H4 square. So we want takes, takes. We want him to open it up. And then we're going to play Rook G1. And then we're going to be all in. How is Dodgy getting bullied? That's true. Sorry, Dodgy. If he goes GF, do we even have to take or should we just castle long? Maybe we should just castle long or do we just go E4? E4 is too much, right? All right, let's just castle. Let's just castle. This has got to be the dream, no? Bishop g5 is excellent. Okay, we'll take here. And we will do something else. Do we go bishop e2? I guess we just go bishop e2, try and win a pawn. This is the way somebody like Glenn Fleer would play. Maybe we go EF. Just go EF. Ninety-seven. Yeah, we're just gonna take it. You're minus 1.8 after d5? What's the move there? I'm very curious. Knight f5 looks like an excellent try. But we're now going to play like a professional. And play this move. d5. This is the move the likes of Aronian and Ryshevsky would be happy with. Okay. Can we do this? A5 looks a bit like it's pointing at nothing. Try the Verisov. I've tried the rep Verisov. It's no bueno. Ah, now I can take. Now I win a piece. Now I win a piece and it's all over. All right, pawn holder. Thanks, buddy. Take care. See you a bit later. What happened to the Breakfast Club podcast, objectively? You mean the full English breakfast? Yeah, we just, you know what, just getting all the times, um, the timings together. So what we're going to do is we're going to play professionally here. It was difficult to get everybody. Now we give check. This is the important move. Now we can take with check. This is, and now we take a rook. And we win the lot. Thank you, MK. We're going to, yeah, this, so that's kind of on hold, the podcast. But, you know, we're going to play my main man, Dr. Stoll, a.k.a. Atlanta Gambit. Let's see what you got, Doc. All right, I'm going to give you a bit of Karakhan action. How about that? Haha, <laughs> tricked you. I'm not going to give you any Karakhan action. You're going to get Gurganidzad. You're going to get Gurganidzad, mate. Now he's out of book. I love it. OK. 
No? This is the sort of stuff Julian Hodgson used to play with success. Atlanta Gambit. All these obscure offbeat openings. Cthulhu's doing his nut looking at all these obscure, obscure offbeat openings. Now we're gonna, now we got a little bit of something going on here. Yeah, we force him to take. And the question is, I mean, there is a lot of merit to rook takes f6, you know? I mean, they're both so tempting. You know what? EF is kind of the professional move, but we're just going to go rook takes f6 and claim that if we get bishop takes f3 in and are able to destroy his structure like this, that this has got to be decent. So he goes f4, knight d7, and king there. Gonna go queen f8. And let's see what the dog is gonna do here. Queen e2. Now we're gonna we're gonna give him a move that he's going to be proud of. It's not very good, but we're going to do it anyway, just to highlight the superiority of the black position. Okay, that one I didn't see. Why would you do that? Now I can just take here and I've won a pawn and it's all over. I thought you were going to take take, but queen e6 check didn't work because I moved the king, queen d7 and knight g4 is still mate. What do you still need to get the GM tile, Lawrence? A norm and 100 rating points. That's it. Easy, easy does it. Knight c3. Okay. No, no bother. No bother. We're going to just calmly bring another piece into play. As Julian Hodgson would say, bring all your pieces in. And now we get to play the delightful pawn 3-5. Just like a symphony, we are able to now get all of the boys in. Rook takes e5, and we've got everything under control. This is a beautiful position, knight g4. My knights are working, my rooks are working. What more could you want from life? This position might just be it. Chess creates is such a good game. Thank you very much. And we have problems here. Knight d1. Many ways to finish the game here, but the cutest for sure has to be this one here. Highlighting once again that harmony is all we need. We give a check. King g3, queen f3 check, and queen g4 is mate. And queen f3. And rook to h1. Ends the game immediately. Thank you very much, Doc. Email me. Let's uh, reconnect. Okay. Who on earth is next? Teo Ravi. He's always lurking in chat, being vocal. He deserves a game. Let's see Teo Ravi. Wasn't knight f3 check winning the queen simpler than checkmate? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Win a queen or give checkmate. All right. This time we'll play just a caro. Oh, he knows his stuff. Okay. Now, he, 
Knight f3, they don't normally do because of this, right? They normally go c3 there. Ah, but you can just do this anyway. Okay. We'll just play like Jan Gustafsson today in this game. This game is going to be a Jan Gustafsson game. It's going to go e6 and bishop d6 and blah, blah, blah. h3, I'm just going to go here. Bishop e3, can go knight f6, can go knight e7. I guess. All right, we're going to go 97 and we're going to try and avoid getting up into any serious trouble here by I mean let's play this move. Queen C2 and now I guess the only way to play this position is by doing the right thing and castling. What is your preferred chess tactics book, Lawrence? I don't have a preferred chess tactics book. I have a preferred chess tactics tool. You know what it is? Magnus's tactics uh, frenzy book. It's brilliant. Uh, app, I should say. Go and get it. It's really good. Um, okay, f6. Put the knight on the rim where it cannot be touched. Knight b3. But now he leaves this guy. No, he doesn't care. Okay. Uh, we'll put it in here first. We'll put it in here first. A4 player says in chat, Lawrence, I will play A4. Blimey. Couldn't have guessed that one. I think Julian Hodgson would like this position. Now, I don't think he's watching, but I think he would like the position. So this move threatens absolutely, as we say in the business, diddly. Um, so you know, what is the professional move? Is it e5? Nah. Is it knight e3? Nah. This is the professional move. This is what Smyslov would play here. Bishop g6. You know, just calmly getting the light squared bishops off, leaving white with a poor bishop here on e3. This is how Smyslov would play. Okay, trying to get some stuff going. I don't quite believe it. Um, hmm. Maybe we need a bit of action now. Maybe we need a little bit of action. All right, let's try this. Let's try the action move. Is Julian still playing chess? Objectively worse says, no, Julian Hodgson is what we call in the business a retired, old, washed up grandmaster. Julian does not play chess over the board anymore. We play the odd blitz game online. He is more inclined to teach and play certain card games involving the exchange and transaction of money. Wasn't knight a3 winning stuff? Uh, I don't believe in winning stuff, Ollie. Thank you very much. But I do believe in this move. This move I do believe in. Now, I guess we can take here and win stuff in such a fashion. And as we say in the business, uh, la position uh, falls apart pretty badly.
queen b3. So the simplest seems to be just to take on c5. When he takes on g6, we can take back. Or we can, well, that one is not going to cut the mustard. And players like Jeremy Hodgson, for example, here would take this pawn on c5. But players like Joe Gallagher, players like Simon Williams, they would play this move and claim that on the very next move, checkmate is unavoidable. Thank you, Nate Young, for the nice comments. <laughs> My boy, cat food plate is in the chat. What's up, Elon? You want to know a legend? It's cat food plate. You don't even know how much of a legend this dude is. Ah, Queen 65, you're right. It's not mate in two. <laughs> He's got Queen 65. Damn. I missed that one. Any news on where in the world Caruana is? When I messaged him yesterday, he said he was getting on a flight to the US. So I guess he's all right. I guess he's managed to find a flight, which is great. Teo Ravi is still thinking here. I don't know what he's thinking about. Maybe he had to go out. Lawrence, what are your problems? End games. Look, mate, let's be honest. End games are far down the list of my problems. <laughs> okay. If end games were my problems in life, I'd be very happy. Thank you very much, anyway, for that game. Who have we got next? Uh, lots of goodness. We've got like thousands of challenges. We're going to go with this guy D4, D5 c4 e6 so i guess we're going to give him what he wants right this dude which is going to give him what he wants why is it not letting me accept oh so we're going to give him it d4 hopefully he'll go d5 like a good boy lww james 2 do you take opening requests mate this isn't some sort of adult chat line you understand? Oh, you didn't even play it. All right, we'll play Archibald system. You understand? You want opening requests? Speak to Gusty. All right, Bishop F4. Yep, this is good. This is what I played against um, Frizo Nibar. couple of weeks back and h4 Naroditsky made this line popular it's absolutely nothing for white but how bad can it be g5 97 now the comp likes e4 here i've tended to play with e3 but as it's a special occasion i'll play with e4 Having some pineapple. Pineapple is glorious. Bishop b4. Now I better defend this pawn with bishop d3. And ed5 might be a threat. So let's see what d4, d5, c4, e6 has got in store. We've got about another half an hour. He does go for c5, which is obviously critical. Um, and could be good. You know what? Let's make it messy. Or as they say in the business, let's make it Lionel. Of course, I could play other moves there, but what am I going to do here? So CD4, am I going to take on G6? Or am I going to take, I guess if I take on G6, DC3 is an issue so we probably have to go the e6 first dc3 ed queen d7 and then b3 that doesn't look convincing at all 
What if we do that? Should we do that for the fans? I mean, we really should do this for the fans. You know what? This is not the right way, but I'm going to do it for the fans. The Henrik police is coming for you for eating on stream. Shout out to Henrik Carlson, if he is watching, my favorite Carlson. So, you know, I was talking about for the fans. Here it is. That is for the fans. For all of you lot. All of you weirdos out there in chat. Mm -hmm. We take another pawn. We've checked. We lure the king into the center. But we are a piece down. This is the problem. But I did it because I then have got the beautiful. Another check. And this could be a masterpiece. I'm not, I'm not joking. This, is, this could be a masterpiece, this game. I wish I were joking, but I'm just not. Could be a masterpiece. King f5 is a good move, I would say. And if king f7, you see, I could play queen c4 check and then take the bishop and be winning, right? But the point is that sometimes in life, taking the easy route is not the right route. So I'm going to put my neck on the line right now. And for all of you very sad people in chat, I'm going to play the following move. An absolutely horrific move, but one that hopefully will entertain you we use the pawn as a blocker and the ne the next sequence is going to get very exciting this is where things are going to be super fun i'm excited i don't know about you guys but i'm actually excited okay so this is where it's going to get really fun you guys like fun right Question is, how, which way do we want to do? Okay, we're going to do this now. We, ha we have to do this now, actually. We don't have a choice. We have to give a check. And then we are going to... Where am I going to develop the knight? Good question. Very good question. What is computer top choice, Bateman? To castle long and not queen c4 check? Are you serious? Because... That would be sick. So now we've got a lot of ideas. One idea is to do queen c8, which probably wins. Another idea is to, nah, I guess we have to do that. And take a pawn. And isn't it, I always love these positions where you use your opponent's pawn as a, as a way to shield your king. You can't move the knight because rook takes d8 is with check. Maybe we just won't move the knight on g1. Maybe we don't need to move our g1 knight ever. Okay, so rook f8. Now, see, it's so useful just to do this. It's just so useful. So we're going to do it. Mass murder today by Lawrence. That's what they bring me in here for. To moida. To moida the people. Is Lawrence preparing a crumpet? Um, no crumpets.
Rook f5. So now we can win either rook. We can either go queen e4 check, winning this rook, or queen takes a8. You know what we're going to do? We're going to win this rook. Or when he goes queen e7, maybe we'll trick him and then take the other one and say, ha ha. Uh-huh, and we got him. 21 moves. That's how we do it. Thank you very much for the game. Half an hour exactly to go. Who wants action is the question. Remember, you have to be premium. You want to play me? You want to beat me? You know what you got to do. You got to be a premium member. Have we got any big dudes who want a game? Where is Pascal Charbonneau? All right, we've got a three minute game here with Yup. So we have to be a little bit, uh, how to say, uh, rapid. Oh, Shelling Ford is 2960. Goodness me. That's not value. I don't know what is. But apparently we can't accept him. So that's a shame. Uh, Where are the big guns? Where are the where are the big G's? Why can't we accept all of these other games? It's so weird. Now I got like five people offering me challenges. I mean, I mean five challenges from the same person. What's this? Why did it switch around? Okay, I don't know what's going on. Can't seem to accept challenges. Shelling Ford, offer me a new challenge. I'm trying to, uh, the site has crashed. Let me get some confirmation. Looks as though we've got a mini technical issue. Ah, yup, I accepted his challenge. Let's see if we're working now. That last game was so good it crashed servers. It probably did, yeah. Famous forking legend, I've got a scroll for your challenge. The site is working. The question is, is Yup gonna, oops. Hold on a second here. No moves. Huh. Hopefully that hasn't screwed everything up. Um, what is this? Why is this? No, it's all, it's all, it's all gone. It's all gone. In this action, what I call the Jabava, the Jabava bull. Okay. Mm, guess we go here. I've seen Jabava and what's his face play this from time to time. Um, Azerbaijani. Ugh. What's his name? I guess C takes D5 there was actually much better. Why on earth I didn't play c takes d5 there, I don't know. But okay, we just carry on. So queen b3. Now we play like Grunfeld. 
we've just moved this guy around a million times. Um, H6, sure. We're gonna have to play that move anyway. And now, it's not really a threat. Is this a three minute game? I've got to hurry up. Knight d7 I really dislike because it does zero, but we're just gonna sort of wing it. We're just gonna wing this slightly, folks. So bear with me while I wing it against the one and only Schelling Ford. Um, <laughs> you know what? You only live once. F5, how bad can it be? Takes, takes. Knight d6, we're just gonna go queen. Queen. Uh, well, we're gonna go F5, yeah. We're gonna go F5, this was the idea. This is the beauty of it. Knight b7, we go queen c7, and then we go F4 and we win pieces. Look at this. Smyslov would be proud. I actually can't bear the fact that I'm not 3,000 on this site. And I'm going to be doing plenty more banter blitzes over the next few days. And that is going to be the target. 3,000, guys. Look at this move. Knight f3. Okay. So what if we do this? Bishop f4, g5. So he goes knight c4. And we just carry on, no? Allez. Allez le bleu. If Julian's watching this, which I hope he is, I hope he's proud. Because I'm proud of, of this game. Okay. So, got plenty of useful moves here. Um, I guess we're just going to make a not so useful move like King H8, just to demonstrate that we don't know what we're doing. So he wants that, fine. So, yeah, I've got to be a little bit kind of careful here. Mm. Ugh, kind of screwed this up. Mm. Let's try this move. Don't really like this, but So I'm going to play another stupid looking move here, which is this. It looks completely retarded, this move, of course. And uh, it is. And we're just going to have to hurry up now because we're way down on the clock. Let's go back. Let's go back. Mm, damn it. Ah! Ah, oh, fuck. Wait. Okay. Uh, screwing this up royally. Nah, no good. Nah, I'm gonna have to just play fast and just shut up now. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Wow, he really let me off with all of those trades. Gonna take here? Yeah. No. Oh fuck. Uh Obviously, it's a draw, but depends if he wants to give me one. Uh, nah. Damn it. Damn it. Nah. Okay. Ah. <sighs>
three minutes was maybe just a little bit too fast for uh, for Banzer Blitz. But we we had a gorgeous position around sort of here, like much later. Around here, we're laughing. We're laughing. All right. Thank you, Shelling. Shelling Ford, AKA the flagger. Uh, who we got next? Clara Varga. Tin Tintarto, women's international master from Hungary. Never heard of her. She wants action. I've accepted her challenge. And hopefully that's going to come through. Ah, here it is. Okay. Clara Varga. From Hungary. We're going to give Clara some action. Okay. We'll go knight f6. And uh, Allez Le Bleu. Oh, she just knows. She just knows that I'm going to play this? That's so sick. All right. Let's do this. I mean, okay. When we've said A, we might as well say B, right? Wow. No respect. No respect at all. All right. Look at this. You don't get this on a Gustafsson stream, let me tell you. Another three minute game, I forgot. Okay, so she wants to do that. That's not very nice. Um, I guess, all right, let's try this. And I really want to sacrifice stuff. How do I sacrifice stuff here in a good way? I guess I can't, right? I guess I have to do this. We're we just going to get mated. It's possible. You know what? I like that move, d4. That's very good. All right, let's do this. Got to hurry up as well, because there's just no, no time for messing around, folks. No time at all for messing around. Knight d3 is good. Very good. And so, you know what the old adage is. If they play a good move, try and play a better one, better one the, next, the very next move. Queen h4. Okay, we take... And yeah, this is catastrophic for me. Um, damn, really let her just get everything she wants. Oh man, this is, this is bad news. This is very bad news. Oh God, I think I'm gonna to have to play this and just pretend that. I mean, I expect to lose this game very quickly, you know, but I'm just gonna hurry up, you know? King d8, the savior, the saving move. Look at this, she's such a pro, sick. Uh, yeah, it's so sad. All right, we'll keep the queens on for as long as possible. For as long as physically possible. Carlson would still win this position, that's the sick thing. 
What do you want to do? Knight b4? That's really pro-like. That's really pro-like. Knight f6 is very Hungarian as well, has to be said. Yeah, that's a very Hungarian move. Rook b8. Okay, we have to we have to try and flag this this uh, very strong woman as I am. I don't know how we're going to do any of this. All right, let's try this move. This is just complete bluff. Okay, now at least now at least we do this. Let's just make her at least a little bit concerned. Yeah, she's she's not concerned. She's not concerned, guys, because uh, she's completely winning. So why would you be concerned in such a situation? I mean, I'm getting blasted here. I'm getting completely blasted. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Allez! Allez! It's not over. Ooh. Oh. oh, yes! Uh. Yes! Oh, you've got to love it. You've just got to love it. You love a swindle. Oh. Oh. That felt so good. I just cannot tell you how good that felt to win that game. It really has made my day. I'll say that. Clara, thank you so much. Peter Lafleur, you're next. Well deserved. I basically had it all under control from the very beginning. Let's be honest. I had it all under control from the very beginning and those that say I didn't don't understand chess so we're going to play this system early bishop f5 I think Fabi's played this a few times and he has gone for the very quick g4 interesting okay we'll go back castles and I guess we'll go c5 wow Okay, show me what you got. I don't believe any of this for him, like at all. I've probably black is fine in a number of ways. This is probably a bit weird, but we got it. Did Lawrence swindle her in that last game? Come on, what a qu how dare you? I've never swindled anybody. It was a positional masterpiece. was a positional masterpiece. That's what you guys just don't understand. The difference between a positional masterpiece and a swindle. It's a very thin line. Okay, I didn't know what was going on here after 94. I'll be honest, I didn't calculate a thing. We're just going with it. Okay, queen d1. What a weird position. Mm. I don't know, something like this? I don't know. Something that, like this looks at least moderately reasonable. Reasonable. Peter Lafleur. So, yeah, I guess we should just take here. 
what a weird position. Okay, but this looks actually very decent for me now. Now I can exchange queens. Can I not go knight takes b2 next? Ah, he's going to go knight takes d1, obviously. Now we can hop in again, no? I mean, these knights must count for something. And if we now try and eliminate this bishop, this is all very weird stuff. It's a very weird position. Rook b1. And let's just say we protect. Ah, now he can move the bishop, but he's actually got no squares for the bishop. Okay, so we take. And we put the knight on f4 and claim that we're better, no? Surely. Julian Hodgson would claim that we're better here. I think. But how to be better? That's the really big question. Okay. We're going to do this because he's going to play knight c4 anyway. And we're just going to put the bishop on a very secure square. And going to play h5. Maybe we should have played this a long time ago, actually. Uh, now... Wow, I mean, come to Papa. You know, you know, I, you know, I like it when you do that, right? You know, I like it when you do that. You know, I like it when you do that thing, baby. I'm managing to completely screw this up, but it's completely fine. We're, st we're still within the margins of it being fine. I think. But we haven't got that much time, yeah? Let's play this stupid move. Only I could screw such a position up. I mean, really, it's disgusting. Um... Oh, shit, it's not check. Wait. And we've got no time? Oh. Just do this. It's time to go to, ah, damn it. It's time to go to bullet mode. It's just bullet mode, guys. No! The guy's got 0 0.01 seconds left. Look! Come on, get out of here, man. It was a positional masterpiece. It was a positional masterpiece. Get out of here. Man. All right. Well, I'm glad it's the end of the session because I'm on monkey tilt. I'm on monkey tilt. Who's going to get the last game? One game left. It needs to be a three-minute game. This dude here. I'm on monkey tilt. I'm not going to lie. This guy, where's he from? India? Oh, God. An Indian kid. What a stupid mistake, mistake to accept this game. This is my last game for today. At six o'clock, there is some other stuff going on. I probably will be on air later. I've got some stuff to do at six. And I'm having a day off tomorrow. Ah, he's not premium. He's not premium. Damn. I'm really sorry. I'm going to offer a draw. Ah. Uh, sugar, I didn't realize he wasn't premium. You know what? This is the only exception. Guys, I'm not making a habit out of this. I just didn't see the premium sign. 
This guy shouldn't have the right to play me because he's not premium. Remember, the banter blitzes are only reserved for people who actually support the site. He does the same thing as, as the other dude did. Yeah, just do that. One more game. I, mean, I can't. I've, I've, I've got to go after this game. Like, I have no time. But I'm going to be back. I'm going to be doing plenty of these. There are tons of them. Tons of these I'm going to be doing. So ED, Queen D was my idea. Bishop F6, GF6. He went Bishop E3. Well, I have to be very happy with this, don't I? This is the dream. Queen E5, maybe? Queen d2, knight d5 is just, yeah, so he goes there, which makes sense. We can still go, we can take, is he going to take it? Now we can go knight d5 still. And, yeah, well, we can do this and claim that we got a, the best ending a Sicilian player could ever dream of. Look, C8, and oh yeah. Now you're gonna see my fine technique. Dodgy and everybody else was like, he, he doesn't know endings. Wait till you see this. For a start, oh, I don't want a pawn, it's clever. All right, we'll go here. Actually, I did win a pawn. I could have taken rook C3, king D2, rook C5, rook A7, rook B5. But I just wanna show you guys and if Magnus is watching, how to play this position. First things first, we centralize the bishop. The next thing we do is we gang up on what is commonly known the weak pawn as the weak pawn. We then make the rook passive, beautiful. And then we begin operations on the king side with a move like pawn to g4. This is basically only really top players understand this move. C4, what is this guy, genius suddenly? All right, we're gonna leave him with his weak pawns. We're just gonna massage this position. We're gonna massage this position, okay? We're gonna massage it, guys. Nice Thai massage. H7 pawn, I was gonna go F5, always. So we get out of bishop takes f5 ideas now. And this is where like Boris Gelfand just knows what to do. Boris Gelfand just knows what to do. He's offered me a draw here. The cheeky boy. No draw, play on, all right. This is where Gelfand now runs the h pawn up the board. Should have been a little bit more careful there. All right, we'll come back, no bother. Now we will offer one trading of rooks. I guess he has to take it. He's gonna go rook b1 and we go bishop c6. Now he's got this pawn, which is gonna go b6, no bother. And this is where again, Gelfand would just know exactly what to do and I don't. You know what? Let's advance all of our pawns. Now we can go rook a5, and we can take, right? That's kind of critical. Could have given a check first, probably better. We'll give a check. King b4, now there are no threats. Now we go e4, and I guess we can even do this. I guess it's still good enough that we can do this. And king. And pawn and king and pawn and rook and king. And that's how we do it where I am from. Ladies and gentlemen, it's exactly six o'clock. Um Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed those two hours. I know I certainly did. Become premium, all of that good stuff. 
I will be back not tomorrow, but on Sunday. Sunday, we're going to do some stuff, all kinds of stuff that we're, we're, we're planning. But for now, from me, it's goodbye. I'm going to hand you over to whoever's next. It's been a pleasure. Take care, guys.